Hi, my name is Michi Held. Welcome to Daily Drum Lesson. Today we're going to talk about polyrhythms. What you just heard was a 3 over 2 polyrhythm. The groove I played was based on 8th notes, 2 strokes per quarter, but my right figure was based on triplets, 3 strokes per quarter. So when we put different meters on top of each other, we talk about polyrhythms. What I want to show you today is a formula which you can use to create every polyrhythm you can think of. Let's start with the one I just played, 3 over 2. Let's say we play 3 on the hi-hat, a triplet, and two on the snare, quarter notes. We could also go with eighth note triplets against two eighth notes, or with sixteenth note triplets against two sixteenth notes. This is all the same polyrhythm. But just playing a triplet with one hand and playing quarter notes with the other hand is nearly impossible. We first have to find out how these two are related to each other, and that is where our formula comes into play. Three over two means we take two notes, Divide each one into three and only play every second one. This works with every polyrhythm. Seven over nine means we take nine notes, divide them into seven and play every ninth one. And 11 over three means we take three notes, divide them into 11 and play every third one. Anyway, let's go back to our three over two. Well, this looks like something one could play. The left hand plays quarter notes and the right hand this triplet figure. When you practice stuff like this, listen closely and really feel and hear that each hand is playing even taps, just at different tempos. Here is how it sounds. Alright, that was 3 over 2. Let's have a look at 2 over 3. Here we have 3 quarter notes on the snare and 2 notes on the hi-hat. What you see here is called a duplet. A triplet is 3 notes played in the time we normally would play 2. And a duplet is the exact opposite. 2 notes played in the time we normally would play 3. And now, in order to change this to something we can actually make sense of, we use our formula. We take 3 notes, divide each one into 2, and play every third one. Let's try this at the drum set. And again, try to hear that each hand plays evenly, just at different tempos. Now we get to the interesting part, because the two polyrhythms we just did, 3 over 2 and 2 over 3, are actually identical. We just heard and felt them differently. Let's take this 2 over 3 and just switch the hands. Now we compare this to the 3 over 2. On both we play 3 hi-hat strokes while playing 2 snare strokes. The only difference is that here the 3 part is the pulse and here the 2 part is the pulse. And that is the difficult part about polyrhythms. They all have two sides, two different ways to play them and two different ways to hear them. To really understand and master a certain polyrhythm, it is important to be able to hear it from both sides. A great exercise for that is to play it and count it in both ways alternating. One, two, one. You could also switch the hands up and always play the pulse on the snare. So the 3 and 2 part would move from hand to hand.
Let's look at the next polyrhythm, 4 over 3. And again we use our formula. 3 quarter notes, divide each one in 4 and play every third note. And here it is from the other side, 3 over 4. Take 4 notes, divide each into 3 and play every fourth. Here is the 3 over 4 or 4 over 3 between the hi-hat and snare counted both ways. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, 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 four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And now we do the exact same thing we did earlier with the 2 over 3, where the pulse stays on the snare and the pattern switches from hand to hand. Alright, 2-3 and 3-4 are the most common polyrhythms. And now I want to give you an idea on how to apply them in your grooves. We start with 2-3. Let's play this simple groove here. Now we establish a 3 over 2 by playing triplets on the right. Now we follow with the left hand, so both hands play the triplet. This feels like a 12-8 note. Now we play a doublet with our right hand, so we have a 2 over 3. The left hand follows and we are back at the beginning, a normal 4-4 move. Let's do the exact same thing with the 4-3 polyrhythm. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite polyrhythm is. Over here are some more videos for you to check out and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.